It's, it's rolling. It's rolling. We're, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. All right, we're on. All right, so today we're going to, well, I'm not going to. Emily's going to cut up a pineapple. Highly requested. Highly requested. And she also somehow found a pineapple. I have a prop. What is it called? It's a pineapple cup. A pineapple cup. Yeah. I wonder how, when was that thing was clean last. It's been drinking all day. Okay. All right, so. Anyway, so yeah. All right, so you're going to do the pineapple. I showed you one earlier. Um, you're going to cut the top off. You're gonna cut the base off, and then you're gonna take, and by the way, we're using a serrated knife. I like a serrated knife for something like this because it's, uh, the knife doesn't slip and it's easier to get through because the outside of a pineapple is pretty tough. Well, first things first, I think we have to tell people how to pick a pineapple at the store. How does one decide what you're gonna get and how do you know when to cut it? Well, most of the time when I buy a pineapple, I'm gonna buy a pineapple and they're usually not ripe in the store. They gotta sit at home for a little while to get ripe. This one actually looks like it might be a little overripe. It's got a little, some, some dark spots on it. Um, but usually you can smell it. It's sort of, it's, it's still, it's still firm though, a pineapple. It's not, um, and actually I find that the more ripe they are, the more you can eat the center. The center seems to, you know how the, it's it's the center, harder. it gets harder. Yeah, I mean, in the center it gets, uh, it's uh, more edible as you go, as it gets older. Um, so the one thing, pineapples, uh, they have all these little like, dip it, I don't know what they call them, little things that you gotta pick out if you want, but if you just go and cut it a little bit deeper, you're okay. Uh, Cause there's also fancy ways to do it where you go along each keep line. We're gonna keep this simple one. though, okay? So Emily, uh, I showed you earlier, cut the top off, cut the bottom, make sure it's uh, stable. So your knife is, nice. right now it's a little wobbly. So the first thing you wanna do is cut this, making sure it's straight, make sure it stands still. So take both sides off first, go ahead. How, much, how far in do no, I go? Too, not too much. You want to say, uh, there you go. Right about there. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little tower of Pisa ish, but that's okay. All right, now take the top off. And I cut right in the front? Yeah, there you go. Try to go straight. I mean, why, why I, don't go know. An angle for I don't know. I don't know. It's not, it's what's happening. What's in that cup here, John? <laughs> okay. Very nice. So that's, now let's go on to setting it straight. And then you just remember the orange we did, that that sort of a, that okay. roundness? You're gonna go in and go, well, I'll do one yeah. cut for you. Look, come, look, look, look how far you're gonna go in because you wanna get all of those little, little thingies. I don't know, okay. let's have a name. Those little thingies. So you wanna get, you wanna keep going now, just small. And you just go around, go all the way around. So like I think the pineapple is one of those fruits where you like cut off more than, well, you do cut off a fair like a amount. Like a fair amount. Yeah. All right. Well, you're not, are you holding that knife correctly? No. What's the knife trick again? It's finger, pinch the front. Actually, you know, I just saw Michael Simon do a very nice demonstration of how to hold a knife. Pinch the front. So maybe you could teach me better. Now, so you, you, you miss these guys. So you gotta, gotta come back up and go and get those. Well, why am I, why do I take it from the top? Because there's another one there. Oh. Okay. There you go. Now go ahead. No, 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 hold on a second. But see, go, go where you, you look, 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 look where you are. See, just try to go smaller. Don't try to take so much off. Not, not like a, okay. okay. There you go. Now see those guys? You got to get in there, right? All right, now do it again. You could turn it a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's wrong you know, now? Well, no, you're just trying to get, you're trying to do too much. Like, oh. Just try to do a little bit of it. You see, you're trying to get too much, so you'll waste less of it that way. There you go. I don't know, your chunks look pretty big. Right, keep going. There you go. Yeah, you go. You okay. get any idea. Okay, it's not now. Now I'm too close. Yeah, and you see what I mean by you went too far? You have to go go like in little little quadrants. There you go. You can go back and get it. Spiky. Yeah, you gotta get those out. Okay. Keep going. You'll come back and do it. It's, it's going to be a very long video. Is this your first pineapple? Yeah. I usually... <laughs> you buy it cut up in the store? No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because the idea of living in a little apartment and having a cutting board big enough is like overwhelming. So I just don't buy them that way. And I never know how to pick out a nice one. So you think the one that's sitting in the plastic, rotting, is the one the good one that's already been cut up by somebody else? No, I know this is better. Okay. 
Now, now let's go around. Now, hold on. You want to see? Now we've still got some of these little things, right? So you have to go through and wow. go through it again and get the, get them off. They should make a pineapple like quarter. So you just keep at this. Yeah. Well, then make sure you get all the, all the little nubbies off. So you, you there you go. You got that top one there. You want to get rid of? Okay. I don't like that one. Okay. Right. Okay, now what? Now pick it up and wipe down the cutting board because you want all this stuff to go away, right? Mm -hmm. What about rinsing your pineapple? Sure, rinse it. Let's rinse it today. We're going to rinse the pineapple. Get all the nubbies out. And then should I dry it? I think you're okay. No. Don't need to dry it. All right, now let's cut it up. So what you're doing, you're going to go right, right down the middle. Okay. Wait, you see the core? Yep, right there. Yeah, there you go. Cut it in half. But you have to go straight down. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, now you're gonna cut it in half in half again to make it a quarter. Shouldn't I be on a flat surface? No, you can. Well, you can either stand it up or you can. Yeah, go ahead, stand it up. There you know, because well, you gotta make sure you go there. So you see the core. So you're yeah. next gonna go right down the core. Okay. Right, do that with this one. Why did you make those two different sizes? Oh, it seems Cutting like it in perfect. half makes it half <laughs> makes it even. This is not this is not a half. See, one's small, one's big. All right, now take it and turn it sideways. And you see, this is pretty ripe. So you're gonna well, you're gonna have to take out the core. You know how to do that? No. Let me do one first. You take it like this. You take the knife. Mm -hmm. and gently go and make sure you don't cut your fingers, would you? This goes in the garbage. Pineapples are a lot of work. Do you know that they're a sign of hospitality? Yeah. A symbol? I think they also take like three years to grow. Is that far enough? Yeah, a little more. There you go. Slowly, slowly. Don't go too crazy. Don't lose a finger. Move that thumb. All right, I wonder if there's a safer way to do it. Maybe, oh, yeah, I feel like you... Maybe if you stand it up. Could you do that? Try standing yeah. it up. Maybe that's safer for you. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's there faster. Go. All right, now do the other one. That's the small, big one, right? Pineapple, by the way, if you cook with it, this is one of those things, actually on chop, this is an interesting, thing. and Alex Corner Shelley said it to me once. She goes, you know, the pineapple is the bully. It's always like, if you put pineapple in a dish, you have to be very, you have to very, have a very deft hand of how to use it because it just seems to beat up all the other ingredients. That's just my slice. opinion. Yeah, why don't you cut this into three? Like, there you go. And then that's it, and then we just go. slice it. Well, you could dice it or you could leave it like that and people oh. just pick it up and eat it. Oh, you know what it's good with? I like it with this stuff. Yeah. This Mexican spicy stuff, it's called tahin. Like you put a little bit of spice on it. Give me some. Mm. And that is how we cut a pineapple. Uh-uh, that's how you cut the pineapple. Well, it worked, but we'll cut. Bye, everybody. You have to push the button. <laughs> oh, bye.